It's been over a year since renovations started on multiple YMCA facilities all around the metro, spending thousands on updates. News 13's Madison Connor is live outside the HB and Lucille Horn Family YMCA with a look at those changes. Good morning, Madison. Yeah, good morning, David. Here specifically, a little over $500,000 was spent to get it in tip-top shape to compete with other local gyms. Something that we just worked hard and needed to get done for our community, and so we got it done. The Y has been around for 108 years, and this branch on Indian School and the McLeod branch needed some TLC. At the HB and Lucille Horn branch, at the, gym, the gymnasium was completely redone with new floors, paint, and a basketball hoop. The fitness centers got all new equipment, carpeting and weights. YMCA Executive Director Albert Ramirez says the finished upgrades came just in time for the New Year's rush and even kicked it off early. The word of the renovation has actually helped, so we've been, that's been happening since October. Um, and we'll, we'll continue to see that go through the end of, the, through the end of February. Ramirez says all of this was made possible from grants and donations from the state, businesses, and of course their members. Now, they aren't completely done yet. The gym ceiling still needs to be done, and they're hoping they wrap that up in the next coming weeks. David, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Madison. Now, the YMCA will be holding two open houses for community members to see those upgrades. We have information on when those events are going to take place. You can find it on our website. It's always on KRQE.com.